welcome to the hay meadow my name is Haley, and like forrest gump's life this channel is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get today i have in store for you a bit of a chatty vlog i think figured we'd have a little bit of a catch up um i've had an unexpected day off of work um sia had we noticed last night uh, at tea time, Sia had actually developed a lesion on her face. Um, a couple of weeks ago, she, well, only just probably two weeks ago, um, I noticed that she had a swelling sort of under her eye here. And, you know, I had a good look at it. It didn't seem to be, there was no broken skin. Um, it didn't seem to irritate her. It wasn't hard. It wasn't like fluidy so we thought that she possibly had been you know bitten by a bee or um, her and Freya during some uh, behavior correction perhaps for Freya uh, things had gotten a little bit um, rough and tumble not that Freya will have purposely um, attacked her or hurt her or anything like that Freya if you if you're new here welcome here's a bit of my life um freya is a german shepherd she is just about to hit 10 months old so there's a considerable size difference now between freya german shepherd 10 months old and sia who is a shetland sheepdog who is 12 years old um so i might pop in a little um picture beside so you can see the difference um yes so freya is still quite exuberant and whenever she sees sia she gets very excited and wants to greet her and lick her and she's very subservient to sia which is exactly how we wanted it to be sia is an extremely good dog very very good dog so we wanted her to be part of the learning experience for freya and to be her teacher she's done a fabulous job really really good job um, but it does mean that sometimes she needs to correct Freya's behavior or she chooses to correct Freya's behavior so she'll give her a nip and you know just put her back in her place so you know whether in that um, there'd been some sort of graze or something like that that was what I was looking for all of that that seemed very long-winded didn't it if you're new here as i said <laughs> get used to it <laughs> um so yes so last night during d dinner we realized that it was actually quite um not only was it swollen but she had quite a lesion there i would put up a photo um however i don't think that's gonna help anybody uh turns out no it looks like it's just um an abscess so perhaps they had um or she had scratched herself or been bitten by something and they just got a little bit infected so she's got antibiotics and um anti anti-inflammatories and a topical antibiotic and yes so the purse is definitely lighter now but we do these things don't we um what? oh that's right that's why i've got today off because i immediately made an appointment for the vet and we were there um this morning so everything is fine she is doing well so she's just around there having a nap at the moment um so what's what's today about well i figured i would show you a couple of makes that i've made recently and i'd also show you some fabric that i've received and been silently collecting in the background for the last few months including maybe opening a couple of packages that i've received recently one only today and the other one last week so yes i can actually leave it wrapped i know it's crazy isn't it um but yes however first of all you probably want to know what i'm wearing and you've already seen it because you would have seen the little twirly twirls that i did um out in the garden so starting off is the pattern emporium besties tea this is a fantastic t-shirt i think i found my perfect t-shirt which is funny because if you have um sewn up any pattern emporium patterns previously 
and watched any of the what's in the pattern videos that Kate, the designer, um, puts out, then you will know that she's actually, when she created this, she was creating her perfect t-shirt. It was modeled on one that she'd had for a long time and it was her favorite t-shirt. Anyway, it's now my favorite t-shirt too. So this is in a lovely, I think it's like a viscose jersey. It's beautiful, lovely and soft. I've got it in this pink. I've actually also got it, I think, in a, a black, a white, and like a brownie color. And I'll show you the reason why shortly. Um, so yes, straight out of the packet, it fit beautifully. I used the um, the body sizes and the finished garment measurements to work out what sizing. And I'm always the same size in Pattern Emporium. I'm re I really like Pattern Emporium. Their, their sizing is always really um, uniform. Uh, and here's the pattern. I did print it out. I'll pop some pictures, of course, um, which I probably already have done. Um, so it's a lovely flared, like it's a gentle flared T-shirt. Um, of course, uh, like always, there are um, options for the length there's options for the style of finish so you can have just the the plain flared finish or you can have this um oh what would you call it band 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 banded finish um of course oops hello there are a number of necklines uh two oh my goodness obviously i've got the air conditioner on um, two square neckline options and then of course there are a number of sleeves so the options are literally endless with this particular pattern and I love it I absolutely love it so this is the Pattern Emporium Besties tee for you very comfortable really enjoy wearing it now the skirt the skirt is actually the closet core Fiore I think it is or Fior skirt um, I don't have the I haven't printed out the fronts I think of oh no I have a couple um, they're just too much color in them often um, so the Fior skirt you have three options you have a plain skirt you've then got the wrap skirt which is the one that I made so you would have seen that I've shown you the wrap and then the magnificent enormous pocket that's half hidden under the wrap fabulous um, and then you've got a button or popper uh, style finish at the front on that one um, and lovely big patch pockets on that one so the fabric that I've chose to make this one so this is my twile version this is just a um, cotton lawn or sort of between a lawn and a poplin um, this is from Lincraft surprisingly uh, I don't go there very often because um, I think their range and quality and just the oh goodness the, um, the store upkeep or the way perhaps the way they present um, the fabrics um, and to be totally honest the staff <laughs> attitude <laughs> I don't think I'll be tagging Lincraft on this video uh, leaves a lot to be desired so you know I'll often I'm subscribed to their um, emails I do get those I do have a look when they have sales and they they do sometimes have some really lovely fabrics however when I go in there to look for them it's almost impossible everything or m most things are on a roll nothing wrong with that but they're often just on tables and they're not overly well um, marked for identification um, and it just I don't need to I don't want it to be hard work when I go and look for fabric when I go to Spotlight and go and have a look on the, the sales table, that's fine. Absolutely fine. That's what I expect. However, that is Lincraft's way of displaying, which is, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be digging around and yeah. Anyway, that's enough about that. 
the skirt is fabulous um, I would probably make the next size down next time I have had to move or I've I haven't moved the buttons so it's got a button closure um, so it's a proper wrap skirt it's got lovely coverage um, and the buttons are basically on either side of your waist so you are really well covered if it flaps up in the breeze if the wrap flaps up in the breeze um, I've actually had to move both buttons out further um, just to keep it tight um, so next time and that's of course um, hip inhibited a little bit the access to the pocket and I probably even need to go a bit further again so however I do plan to make another one and have got another one cut out however it is in the same size so I haven't made it up yet because I need to sort of work out I wanted to give it a, a few wears just to see you know how it went um, but anyway we're going to talk about the fabric that that next one is in when we get to the fabric pile um, yes so fabulous skirt though I intend to make the first version as well um, just the plain one um, really versatile great length skirt on me um, yeah really like it so now I did say and you can already see that I've got another few makes as well so I've made these I made some of these or most or all of them actually uh, all, all of them um, while I was on leave uh, and recuperating um, I'd always planned to do this video but I just never got there so here we are I'm making great use of my time um, so what did I make here well I wanted some nice blouses for work and of course we're in summer here in Australia so the first one that I made is the Maison Fauve Palmer blouse so this is an absolutely lovely blouse maybe I should show you the pattern first actually no I've already got this in my hand so I've made this in a another lovely rayon from Spotlight with this beautiful magnolia uh, print on it as you can see little grown on cap sleeve lovely neckline uh, beautiful facing it all sits nicely in there now absolutely lovely simple but when we turn it around now this is where all the excitement is so we've got this little peephole here with a beautiful tie and then we have a lovely yoke and then these two now these are actually uh, two pleats they go all the way down and they're sewn in at the hemline here and sit beautifully this is such a lovely lovely blouse and I think I've really chosen the right fabric to sew this one up in it's so lovely and floaty um, yeah so if you haven't tried Maison Fauve then definitely have a look at them so yes that's the Maison Fauve Palmer and I'll show you the line drawing although they do um, hand draw so that's the front cover and as you can see they've got th that's the detail there that probably would have been quite difficult to see on the fabric um, of the actual blouse that I made and then we've got here so there's the um, sizings there for you as well and um, they also have the finished garment measurements in the pattern from memory um, so yeah so once again and I do that as a standard body measurements compared to the finished garment measurements compared to my little ease chart so that I know how it's going to wear so lovely and simple very straightforward to make it comes together lovely um, considering you know the detail on it uh, I guess some people might be a little bit hesitant but beautiful well worth the time uh, to make that one up now next up is my first and these are all twelve versions um, next up is the famed Atelier Jupe Olivia blouse now I've been eyeing this off for quite a long time Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door 
this was her I think this was her blouse of 2023 she was just in love with this blouse and I wanted to find out why so I made one up um, straight out of the box uh, I don't think let me just check my book here which will tell me I did add three centimeters of length in the body for this one just so that it sat probably just below the hip line uh, the high hip so just below um, the high hip between the high hip and the full hip I would say um, I have I've sewn the buttons on and I have done button holes, however they're not functional. I haven't even opened them up. Um, I realised once I'd sewn them together that I could just get it on, on and off without any problems whatsoever. So it's a raglan sleeve um, and it's all gathered into this gorgeous um, neckband, lovely neckband. It's the same type of neckband that the Frida blouse has, the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse. Beautiful blouse. I'll be making some more of those soon. Now one thing Andrea did say when she was talking about this, and she's done a sew along, highly recommend that sew along, um, was either lengthening or shortening the sleeves because they hit just sort of below the elbow and she is spot on. I didn't make that change because I don't mind them being a little bit, but with the cuff, I think if they didn't have the cuff, it would be fine, but because of the cuff, they do sort of get stuck. Um, so yes, I'll definitely be either shortening them or lengthening them in future blouses. Now, the only downside for this one that I made was you can see my front placket or you probably hopefully you can I'm showing you all the errors um the front placket here I did make a bit of a boo-boo and I didn't square it very nicely but the pattern's busy normally when you're wearing things you sort of you know you've got animation about you just in general so no one's really going to take any notice are they um I have to show you my tag for this one. Hopefully you can see it because I did do it to blend in, but that's my little tag there. And what I've been trying to do is use decorative stitches to stitch down my tags. I thought that was really cute. Hopefully that was close enough that you got a good look at that. I think it's a little bit skew whiff, but that's right. Um, I don't think I put a tag on this one. No, I didn't. It's one of my big downfalls, actually, is remembering to put my tags on. I really do have a problem with that. And la oh, hang on, before we move on, the Olivia can also be made as a dress. And I do have, I printed out the pattern to make the dress as well because I intend to make that. So there's your options there. You've got your front and back, back blouse, the dress. Um, there's your finished garment measurements. And then I will flip it over and there's your actual measure. And then just because it's there, the fabric measurements that you need or the fabric um, quantity that you need so that was the Olivia now oh that's right I didn't get it out now I wasn't going to include this next one <laughs> for the reason I'll tell you in a moment however I've also made up a twirl of the Patton Emporium Be Mine balloon sleeve blouse and I am in love this is gorgeous I am loving it um, so I made it in this beautiful Swiss dot that I picked up um, from Fabric Hunt when they were closing down last year. Um, so I managed to pick that up and yeah, I really like that. I've worn all of these to work. Um, I didn't make any uh, alterations. This fit beautifully straight out of the packet. The reason I wasn't going to include it 
is because on the first wear, <laughs> this is, seems to be a thing for me, I don't know about you, but I spilled something on it right at the front here. <laughs> And it's got a bit of a shadow stain, so I did use my Sard Wonder Stick. Um, however, I think I'm going to give the soap from the Beyond the Pink Door um, Advent Calendar a go because it's still got a bit of a shadow stain, so we want to make sure that is gone. Okay, so that is all of my makes. I rushed through those pretty quickly, didn't I? However, we all know that I can wrap it on without any encouragement, so I figured we'd need to keep things moving. Okay, so onto the fabric. Now, the first two fabrics I'm gonna show you are from Sew to Grow. So Sew to Grow is an Australian um, company from, uh, I think they're in, Oh, I want to say Queensland, but I always want to say Queensland. Um, Lindsay Ray, who uh, who owns and runs the company, is actually originally from the United States, and she's come out here, and she has an absolutely gorgeous little um, store. She's got patterns, and she's also got fabric. So she's only been doing fabrics for the last couple of years. However. This is, I think, the summer range from last year. So when she was doing her sale, I figured that this was a remnant sale, I'm pretty sure. I've actually had these for quite a while, um, just accumulating things, you know, as you do. Um, yes, so I figured I will show you. So the first one we have is called Livin' Life in Lilac. So it's this beautiful rayon with these wonderful big flower pattern on there. Absolutely gorgeous. So I got two meters of this one. Absolutely beautiful flow to that. So lovely. So yes, so I got two meters of this one and I thought this would make a lovely blouse, possibly a Be Mine Balloon sleeve blouse. I think that would look really nice in this but there's nothing to say that's what it'll actually be but yes so beautiful rayon it's a nice heavyweight rayon and I think that's what gives it the beautiful drape and feel it's really quite fluid very very nice now not to be outdone and you know it's just sort of two colors purple and white I had to then go for the daisy daydream now this is if this doesn't say summer I don't know what does so again this is in an absolutely beautiful rayon fabric and like this one here it's a heavier weight rayon so again really really lovely drape lots of fluid motion in that it's going to be beautiful and three meters i will definitely be able to um to get a dress out of no problems at all so it might wait till next summer now we'll have to see but um yeah so that's two from sew to grow both in beautiful rayon let's see how long the mannequin can last up here <laughs> Okay, now, you've heard me mention Nerida Hansen a few times, and I also said that Nerida Hansen had, she's changing direction, and towards the end of last year, from about September, I think, or August, September, she, she announced that she was changing direction, which meant that she was going to sell, uh, she was going to sell out all of the collection that she had coming in so a lot of it we had to do via pre-order which was totally fine with me um, and it was at fantastic prices I love Nerida Hansen I have a number of Nerida Hansen fabrics already um, I love the quality I love the designs she um, works with a lot of uh, artists so a lot of the um, patterns and or prints I should say um, are absolutely stunning really really beautiful 
So I have one, two, three, four, five of the six um, fabrics that I've ordered here. Um, one I'm still waiting on. I was going to wait, but um, I can't wait that long. Uh, not that I'm complaining, not complaining at all. So first up, now why would I have this in a plastic bag? Well, this is going to be the Fior skirt that I was talking about. So this is again cut in the same um, version as this particular one, which is the wrap style with the magnificent pockets on it. So I will just unwrap this one and have a look at that. Isn't that amazing? Just gorgeous. So this is called Rooftop Garden and it's in a lightweight linen and it is just absolutely stunning. I'm obviously not going to pop this one on the um, on the mannequin. So this print is repetitive um, all over the fabric um, and I just love it. Now I first saw this fabric on a skirt that Kristen from the Dahlia Society had made up um, and just absolutely loved it. So immediately tried to find it, couldn't find it. And then like magic, it turned up in the, in the sale. So into my basket it went. So at the time I got two meters of that, which is plenty for the, the skirt. And it's in this packet because this is the project that I've been doing, well, attempting to do when Rianne and I have um, a sewing day. I don't really do much sewing though. I tend to do more helping and which is fine, totally fine. Okay, so there was that one. Now the next one, I do have my little thing in front of me here. Now this was a Miss Moresby. So Miss Moresby was the artist that designed the print. Uh, for Nerida Hansen and so Nerida Hansen has done the printing um, and she's released it. It came out in a couple of bases I believe um, but yes this was the lightweight linen. Uh, light, was it lightweight linen? Yes yeah so that was the rooftop garden. Now the next one that I've got to show you is all is a Nerida Hansen um, design and it I got three meters of this one and this is in a lightweight linen and this one is called Bounce. Now that is absolutely beautiful. Again more summer spring vibes however this is in just the most gorgeous linen. Um, yeah so again, three meters, and I can see this as, you know, a lovely, um, perhaps a wrap dress. I'm really into wrap dresses at the moment. Um, so I do have a couple of wrap dresses in mind at the moment. I'm on a bit of a wrap dress um, thing. So I'm thinking perhaps the, I think it's the named clothing Hallie, I think that's it. I think I think the lines of that for a linen are just beautiful. So that's just one off the top of my head that I can think of. So yes, so that is bounce. And as I said, this is a Nerida Hansen print. So she's the one that's designed this one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, now the one that I am waiting on is actually from the same order um, that, th that this and this came in and it's another Miss Moresby and it is the Secret Sea Garden. If I can find a little swatch, I'll pop that up for you to have a look at. Again, it's an absolutely gorgeous um, 
really vibrant print uh, so yes I'm looking forward to that one don't know what I'm going to do with that one just yet um, I've actually ordered two meters of that one as well so we'll see we'll see possibly something like a maybe a Friday Pattern Company Donny shirt I think that would look really great you know on the weekend pair of jeans in the cooler weather or uh, some shorts in the warmer weather I think that would be awesome okay so the next two that I've got here uh, this next one or, or both of these next two are again Nerida Hansen designs so the first one that we've got is New Directions and this is a lightweight linen cotton this time so I will hold it up the right way so you get the full impact so again beautiful breezy really nice print I think it's just beautiful I love it again I think I think um again a nice wrap dress because of the stripes on this I think it would work really well because of course with the um wrap dress you know you've got the the diagonals going against each other so I think that would be really cool but yes so not to say that it would necessarily will be a wrap dress but it's just what I've got on my mind at the moment I've been meaning to fold these properly and tag them so this is giving me a good reason to do that isn't that beautiful okay so that one is the Nerida Hansen new directions in that's in the pink now this actually comes out in uh, a few other colorways as well I'm pretty sure there's a green I think there's also a blue um, but I liked the pink so they also came out in different fabric bases so I have a particular liking for linen so that's why I chose the lightweight linen but they did come out I think there was some canvas there was also some cotton um, I think there was even some satin I have a feeling there was some satin as well which would have been lovely um, yes now the last one of the already opened fabrics that I have is another Nerida Hansen design this is again on a lightweight linen cotton and this one is this beautiful navy and pink large scale gingham or check but yes so again absolutely beautiful I'll get one layer isn't that just lovely so it is a cotton linen so you can see that it does have more structure however it is really beautiful and soft it's lovely so I think it's going to hold um, beautifully and I, it doesn't actually crease really badly um, however I actually quite like the crease of linen call me crazy I don't know it's got a a sophistication about it I think that comes from um, you know back in the day school holidays you know what's on the TV there was no <laughs> there was no internet or choose your own adventure television or viewing it was the, the television comes on about midday as in that's when the channel actually starts up um, and then yeah it'll be midday movies that sort of thing so I can remember during school holidays particularly at summertime so like our Christmas break from sort of late December through to very late um, January um, you it's too hot to be outside so you're inside under the air conditioning in the lounge watching the telly and I remember watching like you know 1940s 50s 60s movies um, where they would be wearing linen and I just loved it I just thought it was so sophisticated um, even though you know you could see it was a bit 
rumpled it wasn't it wasn't I've just been pulled out of the laundry basket rumpled so anyway anyway back to this beautiful fabric so yes now this one I kind of have a bit of a I'm not sure whether it's uh, like a tiered type dress or whether it's perhaps a shirt dress but I have got um, three meters of this one as well so very excited about this one okay now because we are on a Nerida Hanson kick at the moment was it today yes today in the mail today I got the second to last one so I'm still waiting on the um, which what's it called secret sea garden I'm still waiting on that one however I did receive one now I saw this one um, only a few weeks ago and was like oh my god that is absolutely beautiful I have to have it um, and I have to have four meters of it this is just divine of course Russell's giving me a hand today I can't have a video without Russell okay, that's just my receipt now this is a Pascal Dilga and this is a Rami cotton um, I don't have anything in Rami cotton I've heard of it but I wasn't sure what it was I thought but it's a Pascal Dilga and it's absolutely stunning so this is called healing plants and this is in the pink colorway there are a couple of other colorways in this one look at that absolutely beautiful okay so I can see straight away that that is quite see-through I think I think I'll know when I'm doing the editing so I'm going to hold it up with some folds in it that way you get a better a better look so it's got a really shadowed I guess is the best way to describe it um, print of flowers and plants and it's just so subtle and so beautiful I really like this one I saw this and immediately was buying it so that's the Pascal Dilga I have a few Pascal Dilga designs I absolutely love their design just the artwork is stunning absolutely stunning so four meters of this one not sure what that one's going to be it could be a wrap dress I would probably make a and I've been thinking about this making a simple slip dress just a, like a column sort of sheath type dress uh, in plain just to wear under anything like that anything that's um, possibly a bit too sheer um, just to give it that background so you're not actually going to see like any form underneath it's just giving it that background so that's my Nerida Hanson oh, I don't know what would you call it? a thon my Nerida Hanson a thon absolutely beautiful stunning fabrics and I was really concerned when Nerida Hanson said that she was um, not closing her doors but when she was changing direction because she was closing her specific shop at that time um, however I've been absolutely pleased to see that not only has Kristen from the Dahlia Society she's picking up Nerida Hanson fabrics but also Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door is also picking up Nerida Hanson fabrics which is wonderful that's really going to you know allow anyone outside of Australia to also get their hands on these absolutely stunning fabrics I'm sure they've probably been available but you know you don't know um, I also know I'm pretty sure that Gabrielle from Cloth Edit is also picking them up um, and I'm sure there'll be others because why wouldn't you you would be cutting your nose off to spite your face if you weren't picking up Nerida Hanson fabrics 
Okay, so what is the last one? This one. So this is from my beautiful friend Kristen at the Dahlia Society. Um, she had a sale uh, the other week and um, I decided because I had been eyeing them off for months that I was finally going to get some of the Indian block print that she's had. So this is it. So we shall employ Russell to do his job. He's getting so good at it. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely packaging as always. Lovely. That's beautiful tissue paper. Of course, I'm just going to rip it and then screw it up and throw it away because I'm just heartless like that. Russell, Russell, Russell. Oh. I'm so excited. So we have a little tea bag because we always need to have a cup of tea and a little treat. That's a little chocolate chip cookie. Yum yum from Charlie's. Charlie's Fine Foods, I think it is. Yes. Uh, and then, we've, of course, we have the thank you card. Then we have the piece de resistance, this absolutely stunning Indian block print. Now, I've been eyeing off a lot of these. I've had them in my basket many, many times. Um, however, I, I'm not... Uh, I've not done a lot of colour blocking and I'm not sure if I'm a bit hesitant about it. Um, I was a, a teenager of the mid to late 80s and we had a lot of like colour blocking and all that sort of stuff and very, yeah, no, it was the late 80s, um, you know, geometric patterns and colour blocked and patchwork and I just I couldn't bring myself to do a lot of it then so colour blocking isn't something that I am necessarily drawn to um, however I've got enough I've got four meters of this uh, and it's just stunning look at that absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous it's lovely absolutely beautiful fabric actually I've um, if you've watched my channel for a while then you'll know that I will order from Etokri in India so that's directly from India um, so I do have some Indian um, cotton silks um, I think there's some linen in there I haven't done many of their block prints I've done a couple um, not like these though but they're a little bit heavier than this this is so beautiful and fine this is like premium cotton lawn this feel absolutely gorgeous I'm I'm sad I've waited this long so this one just took my breath away when I saw it I love I would say, yeah, it looks like a black. I love a black or a dark background with colour print on it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So when I saw this, I literally ordered it immediately because I didn't want to miss out. So I'm not sure what this is going to be yet. I have plans to make a mahal dress. Um which I've already got fabric put aside for. However, I think this would be another so different dress. I really like the so different patterns. So there's lots of, lots to see in there. Butterflies and different plants. It's just, the colors are just so beautiful. So there we go. Have you enjoyed that as much as I have? So what do I have on the machine at the moment? Well, I'm currently hemming the Liesl & Co Geneva blouse. So I've done version A, I think it is, with the lantern sleeve. I've done it in a cotton lawn from 
it's another one from Lincraft. This is my twile version. Um, it looks lovely. I have tried it on as I've been going. Um, I'm not sure about, not necessarily the fit, more the cut. So I'm not sure if I'll make another one. Um, we'll see how we'll see how it goes once I've put the front closures on. Um, yeah, you know, not every pattern suits every body type. So it's a lo lovely blouse. Don't get me wrong. So as you can see on the front, there are two views. View A is the lantern sleeve, which is the one that I've made. And view B is a bell sleeve, which is looks lovely as well. So on the back, and there's a larger picture here. So on the back, oh, it's got a, I'll pop something behind it so that hopefully you can't see through it. That's better. Um, on the back, it has a, it doesn't have a yoke, but from the neckline down, you'll see there's quite a large pleat. The pleat is actually sewn down for probably a good eight centimeters. Um, so the pleat itself doesn't start until probably, you know, level with your shoulder, blade, like the lower of your shoulder blades. And I'm not sure if that's what the fit is, whether it's just, obviously I haven't completed it. I don't have the, I'm not sure if I'm doing buttons or poppers just yet, um, but they're not on there. So I can't put it on and do it up and know exactly how it's gonna fit. I guess I could probably pin it together, but we'll see how we go. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's perhaps that. So perhaps if I only sewed it down you know, um, two centimeters at the top or something like that. But I do actually like the way it looks with it sewn with quite a large um, pleat sewn onto it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Perhaps the fabric is also playing a part being that I've used a more structured fabric. Um, it's funny because the fabric that she's wearing, I actually have that in my stash. So I was contemplating making it up into this blouse if it went all right, but we'll see, we'll see. We're starting to move into the cooler weather. Not that you would know, we've got a week of about 35 or 36 or something plus this week. Um, so that doesn't sound like we're going into autumn, does it? But we usually do have a bit of a, a hot flush, a last flush of um, summer weather before it starts to cool down. So I am cheering for the cooler weather, not a hot weather lover. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've got on the go at the moment. Well, I think after all of that, carry on you've probably heard about enough of my voice so I will leave you with that thank you for joining me here in my sewing room and I look forward to seeing you next time bye